The Wrap widget is an extension of the column and row widgets. And here in this example, you see a row with four buttons and everything works here normally fine. However, if I place here a fifth button inside, then you see we have here this layout issue. And now what we can do is to simply use here a wrap widget instead and the wrap widget will care that this gets to the next line. And with this you can see that the wrap widgets will care that your widgets automatically are multi-line and not only for one line. And here we can try it out with a column. So here I have six buttons inside and you see the buttons here at the bottom. And now if I place here a seventh button inside, then we have exactly the same issue because a column and also the row are only single line widgets. And we can use here a wrap instead. And we also need to set here for the column the direction to vertical because the column is every time vertical. And then we have here the simulated column. And if we go here again to our row area, we also can place here many more widgets inside. And like you can see, it's every time getting here a new row and you can basically expand it until this end here. And the same works also for this column here. So we can also place here more widgets inside and then it every time gets here a new line. Now let's also look at the other parameters which a wrap widget has. The first parameter is here the spacing and this is the spacing between the elements on the horizontal axis. So between this item and this item and this item. So if I now hot reload, you see that we every time have here spacing of 15 to the right side. And then we also have here a spacing between the items on the vertical axis for our row. And therefore we can use the run spacing. And now if I set it for example here to 10 and hot reload, you see that we have here more spacing between the items. And we can do the exactly same with our column here at the bottom. So we have here first of all the spacing which we can add and this will be increasing here the spacing between our items to the bottom. So on the vertical line and then we also have here the run spacing and this increases it on the horizontal line, the spacing. I will quickly remove all the spacing from our widgets and then it looks like this. And here we have another property also similar to column and row, which is alignment. And here by default it is start. So our items are here aligned to the start of this widget. You can also put your center inside and then it's centered and you have here also the possibility to put end inside. So it is going here to the end of our widget. And also like the row and column also has, you have also something like space around and then you have every time here space around your widgets and this is equally distributed between all of your widgets. So this alignment is every time changing here on the horizontal axis and we also have a run alignment which is changing it on the vertical axis. So let's put this here out again and now we change the vertical axis. So by default we have a run alignment of start and this means that our widgets are here at the top. And now we can also change here the different parameters. So center will put it here vertically in the center. We also can put it vertically at the end. And you also have here again the space around like before. So it is every time space between the widgets and it's equally distributed between the widgets. Now let's look at the column. This is the opposite. And here we have exactly the same parameters. So by default, we have here an alignment of start and also a run alignment of start. So everything is here to the left and to the top. And now we can change these parameters for the column. So I can put the alignment to center and then it's aligned here to the center vertically. We also can set it to the end. Then it's here vertically set to the end. And then we also can here change it horizontally. So we change here these attributes we put it here to center, then it's centered horizontally and we also can put it here to end and then we put it here to the end of this widget. If you want to try this example here out, you can get the source code with the first link in the description and you also can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become more efficient as a Flutter developer with the second link in the description box of this video. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!